looking forward to continuing to kind of explore tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously super early, and guys are, you know, guys are going at it. Guys have been competing in training camp, and uh, it's, you know, we're we're looking forward to tomorrow just being able to kind of, you know, test what we have so far, um, especially, you know, getting back in the pay call and kind of getting a feel for, you know, the arena and getting back into the flow of the season. So um, guys are really looking forward just to kind of, you know, put into the test, you know, what we've done in the last week um, and playing against other players. So we're excited, and uh, I think guys are going to be, you know, refreshed and ready to go. In terms of either just physically or skill-wise, is there anything out there that you felt – better at in training camp than maybe you were at the, at the end of last season? Yeah, I mean, physically, I feel a little bit, you know, obviously, um, just like more comfortable, um, just both in the environment, um, playing against the guys and stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm just continuing to find my places, you know, where I can contribute to my winning, to my team so that we can win, and, you know, just being in the right spot. So. It seemed like all these guys had a really productive summer just this off season. What's it like going up against them in a, in a five on five setting after all the work that they put in this off season? Yeah, I mean every year is awesome. Just kind of seeing how guys have either physically changed and gained weight, or you know gotten stronger, or you know added certain parts to their games that you know they didn't, they might not have used often or, or had uh, beforehand. So um, it's it's been awesome, you know, competing and seeing guys, you know, who've added certain parts to their game, who gained weight. You know, J Dub put on a a lot of weight. He looks good. Um, he's moving well. So, uh, you know, it's, it's just awesome just kind of being back and, and being with the guys and getting back in the flow of things. With that in mind, just what has the physicality been like in these in these scrimmages? Yeah, I mean, extremely physical. Guys are going at it. Um, you know, with Chet, uh, Olivier, some of those bigs that we have, you know, being in the paint, it's, it's a different presence and a different environment down there. So uh, the physicality is definitely a, a different level. Um, but it's it's great to be a part of, and and I think guys enjoy you know that competitive side of it. Is it weird not having to worry so much about guys taking charges in the paint now? It's like a lot of shot blockers down there now. Uh, there's still a combination of charges. I mean, with Lou there, uh, J Will, Zay's taking charges. So, I mean, our team versatile, versatility yeah. down there. You know, <laughs> block shots, take charges, moment of truths, all of those things. So uh, it's it's great to be a part of a team that you know values defense defense in the paint like that. So. I'd be interested to see what you guys look like against somebody else, especially the chance to play, maybe play against Victor Wembanyama. Yeah, I mean, guys are excited just to kind of put put to the test what we've done, uh, especially against another team tomorrow. Um, it'll be fun. These guys are calling my name. My bad. <laughs> it'll be fun, uh, you know, stepping out there and just being in front of the fans uh, in in Paycom again. And guys are just ready to compete, ready to go at it, and not against each other for a little bit at some point. So uh, we're excited to play. Some of the uh, new guys that come in, you know, talk about how, you know, just kind of teaching them how to be competitive, get those minutes, especially with the preseason just starting. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's so much teaching them how to be competitive. Everybody, everybody, every guy that walks into this building is in here for a reason. It's a lot of it is their competitive nature. So uh, guys come in and they're ready to go. And uh, I mean, the new guys, Keontae, Kaysen, uh, you know, Chet, obviously, he's, he's new playing with us and stuff, but. Uh, those guys are extremely competitive. They they want to win, and they understand that there are certain things that you have to do to you know help your team win. So, I mean, everybody's winning players, and everybody wants to come together to have a winning team. So, uh, you know, guys are locked in, and we're 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 ready to compete. Having had a bunch of guys who played together last year, come back, having a lot of continuity, does that make it easier to, to pull new guys in? I think 100%. Uh, especially when you know guys know how they play guys understand the guys around them and you know their style of plays and where they can fit in and so and i think that definitely makes it easier just in terms of the chemistry um and then off the court i think it you know when guys guys get along and guys are close and they enjoy you know each other's personalities and characteristics uh it just makes the game fun so we we enjoy being around each other and we look forward to you know another long season you guys have scrimmaged a lot so far has there been a a play of camp like a you know amazing block great steal moment Uh, of truth I don't know. There's been a lot of pretty big plays. Um, today, J-Rob had a big dunk. Um, I don't know if he dunked on somebody or not, but he had a big dunk. Um, but I don't know if there's been one play of the scrimmage or of, of the training camp so far, but um, guys have looked really good. The new guys, the guys who have returned, um, and, and guys have you know played really well. So, um, you know, just looking forward to putting it against other other competitions. Maybe not one play, but is there an aspect of how y'all are executing in those scrimmages that stands out to you? Uh, I would say kind of, you know, just the flow um, in terms of how we're getting into the plays, the style of play that we want to play at, the pace. Um, I'd say that as a whole has been really good. I think we're doing a really good job 
uh, defensively getting back and kind of, you know, understanding the places that we have to be in to help each other on the defensive end. And then offensively trying to get the spots and, you know, find opportunities early in the offense to, to get, you know, scoring chances. So uh, I think just the flow in terms of us knowing each other's games and where we can fit in is, has kind of, you know, shown a little bit uh, in training camp. Mason came in with a lot of our reputation as a defender in college. Not all rookies come in that way. What, what's... What have you noticed about him? What have you seen about him? Knockdown shooter, too. I mean, he looks good on both ends. Defensively, he looks good. You can tell that he's confident and, you know, sliding his feet and guarding the ball out on the perimeter. Um, and, you know, he's determined. He's uh, kind of level-headed. He doesn't say too much. He's not, like, you know, not confident. Like, he's extremely confident. So, uh, on both ends, he's, he's doing really well. And, you know, he's, he's kind of just showing that he can compete in the league and he'll be fine, sir. I know you, you had a chance to work out all summer, but... So some some pent up aggression that you've been able to get out the last week or so having camp going and uh, after all that time you missed at the end of last year. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, man. Uh, just being here for the past kind of month and a half, you know, playing against the guys, kind of ready to compete against somebody new instead of you know beating up, beating up on each other and and stuff like that. So yeah, we're looking forward to tomorrow. You guys have so many players returning, like three quarters of the guys. Are, are coming back from last year. How has that helped so far in camp? I mean, it's it's an underrated, uh, you no know, part of camp because uh, you know guys know kind of spots and know plays already, and it kind of it makes it easier to kind of get into right what right what we want to get into, which is kind of playing live and, and competing right away. Uh, just because of the guys, they know terminology and they know plays already, so it just it helps us just prepare and, and get ready for the games. What's it been like for you, a guy who's been around for a while now, seeing guys come back from the offseason, seeing the growth that they've made, the physical changes that they've done as well? Oh, it's, it's great. I think that's the that's the best part of the summer. You get to see guys come back and kind of see what they added to their game, see what they how they how they um, what they added to their body, um, and you know. Every one of the guys have gotten better, so uh, that's that's a good for us. Mark was just saying, you know, you don't really scout in the preseason. You guys are worried about yourselves. You don't have to worry that that much about the opponent. But as a basketball player, is there some curiosity about women Yama and just just seeing them for the first time? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you you hear all the hype about uh, about him um, leading up, you know, to him playing his game, and of course, like you know, uh, he's he's hyped up, man. So it's like you you want to see what he got. Um, but at the same time, we kind of want to focus on on ourselves and uh, and what we do well. Jay, uh, go ahead. You've always been looked at as, as one of the leaders, one of the veteran leaders on a very young young team, especially the last couple of years. Now getting into some of these guys being a little more seasoned, getting around the NBA. Can you talk about the leadership of some of the younger guys going into this season? Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's definitely important. Uh, kind of the young guys are able to kind of to lead. They're able to lead kind of themselves. Uh, you know, Jay Will, he has a voice. Uh, you know, me and Shay came in the same draft class, but he's grown as a leader. Uh, I mean, multiple guys, you know. Uh, and leading is, isn't is just one guy. It's, it's whoever's doing the right thing. So uh, it, it could be a rookie you're leading. So, uh, you know, our team is very well balanced. Jay Dub bulked up in the offseason. Can you kind of feel that in training camp trying to guard this guy? Oh, for sure, man. That's for true. sure. I, he's going to have a, a great year this year. I, I'm, I'm sure of it. His body definitely just looks more mature. Um, take some contact now, man. Uh, I'm excited for Jay Dub for sure. Um, yesterday or the other day, Mark mentioned just on communication ends that Chet never shuts up. He's always talking. But not just talking about talking like communicating with your teammates, but who's been talking the most trash during training camp among you guys? Uh, you? <laughs> me, maybe me. <laughs> maybe me. Uh, Shay's been talking. Shay's been talking. Trey Mann has been talking. Everybody, honestly, it's, it's been super competitive the past week and a half. Uh, it's been super competitive. Everybody's getting after it. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to talk to you on media day. I do want to ask this though. Obviously, Shays has some GQ moments. Giddy obviously had a nice little spread over the summer. I mean, when is the uh, the Cambridge? Oh man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it low key. I'm gonna keep it low key. I'm gonna stay out the way. Uh, I'm gonna just let y'all see what I got during the season. <laughs>
Headbands is great, man. It's coming along, I'm trying to get used to it, practice in it. So try to do this all, the whole year, the rest of my career. So it's coming along, man. Vasa is out uh, with an ankle sprain. He's day to day. Shea will not play tomorrow for rest. And Poku um, is on the same timeline, will not play. Everybody else available and will play. Mark, the last few years, you all have been one of the best transition defense teams in the NBA. How much of that is built during a training camp and how much of an, of an emphasis has that been here the last week or so? Yeah, it's an emphasis for sure. We haven't found a great way to work on it uh, other than emphasis. It's kind of a hard thing to simulate because it's, uh, it's in the flow of the game. So uh, we just go off of teaching the guys how important it is and a couple key concepts. Uh, and then we really try to do it through the games because that's really the most relevant uh, reps you get of it. You all have talked about kind of a, a process of exploration of the team. When you have a 240 minutes staring at you for the very first preseason game, how do you approach that? And how do you kind of communicate? This is a long preseason, let alone a, a long season when it comes to you know doling out those 240 minutes. Yeah, the guys know that. Um, they've most of them been through it before. A lot of it's just trying to get a baseline uh, to see what's carrying over and what's not. Uh, and taking a look at a lot of different guys and a lot of different things. We'll we'll get a lot of guys out there tomorrow night, as we will in most of the preseason games, uh, for a lot of different reasons. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what we learn. Coach, what have you seen from Keontae? Obviously, he just brings a lot of, of physicality as a, as a rookie so far. But what have you noticed about him in this setting so far? Uh, he competes and he approaches things in a way that earns respect You know, pretty quickly. He's very professional. He's a very unassuming personality. He doesn't pump his chest, but he can play. He's tough. Uh, he's got game. You know, he can score. Uh, things are moving fast for him right now, as they do with with all rookie players. But uh, he's approached it in a way that has earned respect of his teammates, which is hard to do when you know you're two way player, second round pick, rookie. Uh, and I thought I think he's done a great job so far. You mentioned professionalism with Keontae and Kaysen. Have you been kind of impressed by their maturity so far? Yeah, I mean, they, they've done a great job. Uh, I think we knew what we were getting there. And I give Sam a lot of credit for that, that, you know, during this build, he's prioritized that with really everybody we've brought in the door, whether it's been draft or uh, trades or free agency in the few cases that we've done it with like two ways and stuff. So um, it certainly sets us ahead in terms of uh, our environment when you don't have to worry about, um, you know, breaches of professionalism or commitment level. I mean, it, really every guy that's come in the door the last couple of years have been high commitment, high professionalism, and it allows us just to focus on what we need to focus on. Just back to the concept of exploration, but the perception could be like that's the coaching staff exploring, but how much of that is just collaborative with the players? Do you have any examples of like the players in their own exploration, their, their games or what the team is trying to do throughout the course of a season? Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of it's just, you know, us trying to deliver uh, a style for each of them that is efficient and impactful, them committing to that, which uh, most do, and then just the process of reflecting on that because no one's going to be perfect at it. And that's part of player development is, uh, you know, understanding what you're aiming at and them striving towards that and us striving towards helping them with that. Uh, and then just testing it out every single day in practice, every single night that we play. Having another year with some of these guys that played with you for a couple of years, also development of leadership. Have you noticed a different kind of leadership from maybe some of your top guys? Um, I wouldn't say it doesn't feel totally different, but the integrity of it's there for sure. I agree with you. Um, we always say the leader's the person doing the right thing. So we try to make leadership accessible to everyone. Keontae and Kaysen are great examples of that. They've led with the way that they've approached camp. Um, but the guys that have been around, uh, they they know what we're doing and I think they believe in it to some degree too, or to a large extent. Uh, and that's helpful, you know, so it's not necessarily, sometimes it's like they can finish your sentences, but are they really committed to what it is? But I think they've seen, uh, that this stuff works environmentally, especially the way that we approach every single day. And I think they're committed to that. And it's very powerful when the players are carrying that. That's really what you're, what you're after. J-Dub bulked up in the off season, lifting weights. Do you see the benefits of that in camp right now? Yeah. I mean, defensively, he's always been impactful. Offensively, I think that's where it's showing up. I mean, he's he's like a freight train uh, driving the ball right now, you know, in transition. And even he's had a couple plays. He had a couple plays in the scrimmage where there's a static possession. He had the ball 
uh, in the half court and he just kind of revved the engine and he's like through somebody's chest uh, pretty quickly, which hopefully you guys will see tomorrow. But, you know, the physicality on offense is certainly is popping right now. Shea is one of, there's been this weird kind of run of guys, the Kentucky guards who kind of outperform where they were drafted. You've obviously got Casey now too. Some of that, those guys are young and they stay there for a year and so maybe they get better when they leave. But is there anything that, that maybe guys come out of there with? Um, yeah, I think to explain the dynamic as best I can without having studied it at all, um, a couple of things I do know, they get talent every year. So there's, there's talent that they're balancing and there's just so many fewer possessions in a college season than there are in an NBA season because you're playing basically a third of the games and then the shot clock's longer. And so the total amount of possessions in a game between the shot clock and the duration of a college game, there's probably only 70 possessions in a college game. There's 105 or 110 in an NBA game. And so uh, I think that explains some of it, like production wise, it's just like a volume thing. Um, the one thing I was at Florida, obviously, and the one thing that I do respect about the guys that come out of there, I've coached uh, not only Shea and Kaysen, but a good amount of Kentucky guys now. Um, the pressure, you know, in that program of that fan base and the expectations there, you know, those, the guys that come out of that program uh, aren't flinching really at anything because of what they're exposed to when they play there. And so I have great respect for um, the players that come out of there and, and kind of what they endure, um, you know, to become the players that they are. And I think those guys are both examples of it. I know it's only preseason, but uh, you get one of the first chances to scheme against Victor Wimbanyama. It's just one of those deals. I don't know how much he's going to play or what you're kind of looking into, but kind of talk about what you had to go into planning against this guy. Yeah, we're throwing our fastball, you know, from a base standpoint. You know, we're not really scheming against anybody in the preseason. We really have to hone our own stuff. Um, his, you know, impact on his team and uh the way that he plays will reveal itself over time and as we get deeper into the season um we and everybody else will understand what the spurs you know have and how he impacts that and um that's kind of how we look at it preseason it's really not about the opponent it's about us and what we need to do would you say the points of emphasis are for you guys in the preseason um, the same that they've been in practice. I mean, it's not complicated. It's individual defense. Uh, it's help defense. It's getting our coverages communicated, transition defense. And then offensively, it's playing to our identity uh, and guys playing to their individual styles uh, and seeing how consistently we do those things, you know, and that's going to be the points of emphasis for us in January, you know, in March and 2026. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you mentioned team points of emphasis. Are there any, like, in particular you want for certain players of what they should focus on? Just their individual styles, you know, to become impactful and efficient players. You know, that's stuff that we've been working on with them as long as they've been here all summer. For some of the younger players, it's, it's more of a baseline. You know, we try not to guess on things like that. We try to have an assessment period. So... Um, a little more just with Keontae, Kaysen, Chet, a little more just like seeing what they look like out there and letting that stuff start to reveal itself to us. But, um, you know, business as usual for everybody else.